Hi guys, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I experienced an injury actually the day that um, I did my last video. <clears throat> and so I've been recovering from that. Nonetheless, um, I just wanted to impart on you guys our need to be resilient. Um, in my career, um, on a daily basis, I experienced families that go through hardships they you know they lose family you lose a job you know you experience like a tumultuous time where you know you got to get the kids a child care you got to get a new job you're trying to get through school your car broke down things like that but what i've also noticed is that our generation or society nowadays is not as resilient as we need to be we experience a lot more people committing suicide. We experience a lot more of our peers giving up, letting their children go into the system, um, just completely stopping. You know what I mean? They go home, they succumb to life, sit around, and no offense to anybody, but, you know, do drugs, things of that nature. But nobody is really taking on that initiative. Nobody is really just saying, I've got to do this and bouncing back, you know? It's okay to fall down. It's okay to experience hardships. And most of all, it's okay to feel those things. But what we have to realize is that you don't stop living. You don't stop moving. You don't stop progressing. And most of all, you don't give up. Like, um, as I've said it before, I don't mind being transparent. Um, I, to myself, thus far in my life, I hit rock bottom when I experienced my divorce. Um, I went from owning a home to living in low income. I went from having two cars to a truck that I could never figure out what was wrong with it. Um, I went from not being financially strapped and being able to do what I wanted with my funds to completely being financially strapped. Um, I didn't have a college degree at the time. So for me, I actually, I wasn't even able to maintain with the bare necessities. But um, I had those feelings. I had, um, Jesus, wow. I, um, mm, I had some of the same feelings that a lot of people feel nowadays um, in getting through life. But the one thing that kept me going was the fact that as much as I love my mom, as much as I love my family, I didn't want them raising my kids. And a part of what we have to do is we have to... Um, we have to adjust and internalize what we're going through, but you also have to find a means of moving forward. Everybody can't just bounce back because with me, once I got it in me that I wasn't living like that, that I wasn't staying that way, I completely bounced back. I got in school and didn't turn around till I finished, you know, my master's degree, um, I got back into home ownership. You know, I came back to some of those things, but everybody, not everybody can do that. But what you do have to do is you have to come to a place of stability for you mentally, emotionally, physically. Those are things you have to do for the sake of you. Giving up is not an option. Giving in to life is not an option. Just as well as we look at our elders and say, look, they've been married 30 and 40 years. Yeah, but also look, they've been living this life for 60 and 70 years. They've experienced some of the same things we've experienced. And then we run around and we feel like, oh, my God, I can't make it. I got to give up. I got to do this. I got to do that. I'm going to have to let my kids go. I got to let my car go. I can't. No, yes, you can. You That's not an option. Everybody has had to weather a storm. And this is not the first time somebody has gone through it. You're not the first person in this world to experience it. I don't want to burst your bubble, but I kind of do want to burst your bubble. The things that we're going through... The only thing that extends these things or makes them a little more, um, how can I say it, a little more um, explosive or exploited, exploited is because of the fact that we have a lot more social media nowadays. But let's take accountability there because we put a lot on social media. So the platforms that are destroying some of us or that are attacking us in certain areas of our lives are self-inflicted. So we've got to take accountability and we've got to be a lot more resilient. I see way too many people my age. I've crossed paths with them. I'm speaking to them daily. I'm encountering these people, these families, these kids, our generation. I'm encountering them giving up. Giving up is not an option. Persevering is the only thing we can do. And just like I said, your stage at which you persevere and succeed is completely based on you. You don't have to go and get that college degree. 
You don't have to go and buy a home. You don't have to have everything everybody else has. But what you do have to do, you do have to get yourself to a mental state where you can function on a daily basis. You do have to get yourself to a stable lifestyle where you can pay your bills. Even if you rent for the rest of your life, you know your rent is paid. You're okay. Get yourself to a place where you're okay. Giving up is not an option. Have a good day, guys.